What's up, players? Hope everybody out there is doing all right. This is actually a video idea that I think I'm going to turn into a quick little video series of maybe three videos. Uh, Brandon actually gave me this idea, Spinternet. Check out his channel if you don't know him. He does sports and wrestling videos. But anyway, as you can see from the title of this video, this is Will These Guys Make the Hall of Fame or Will These Guys Not Make the Hall of Fame? And this is the Wide Receivers Edition. These are just going to basically going to be wide receivers that have either retired within the last five years, so they're not eligible to be in the Hall of Fame yet, or still active wide receivers who are on the borderline, who could possibly even play their way into the Hall of Fame, or if they get injured or start fucking up, they could play their way out of the Hall of Fame. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to start off with a Steelers wide receiver by the name of Heinz Ward. I don't think Heinz Ward deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. To me, to be a Hall of Fame wide receiver, I think you have to do a couple of things. First of all, year in and year out, you have to be at least within the top 10 of wide receivers. And I don't think year in and year out, as far as receiving-wise and as far as catching balls-wise, that Heinz Ward has been able to do that. I know Heinz Ward is an amazing blocking wide receiver. I know he's a very physical wide receiver, and I know he's probably one of the greatest slot wide receivers in the game. I know he does things that other wide receivers are incapable of doing, but as far as from a traditional standpoint of a wide receiver of catching the ball and, you know, distributing the ball around, I don't think Heinz Ward deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, move on to another one, Marvin Harrison, formerly of the Indianapolis Colts. I think Marvin Harrison should make the Hall of Fame for a couple of reasons. I know he is going through some legal issues right now, but let's not forget, him and Peyton Manning hold the all-time record for quarterbacks throwing to wide receivers and touchdowns. So I think just that alone, I mean, that's a big-time record. That alone should have him in the Hall of Fame consideration. And then the fact of how consistent he was. He played year in and year out and was one of those top, probably even in the top five wide receivers. Yes, he did have Peyton Manning, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. But I think there could be an argument made that, you know, he helped Peyton out a lot, too, in the beginning of his career and helped him start off and become a great quarterback. So I would definitely put Marvin Harrison in the Hall of Fame. Um, what, another thing I always liked about Marvin Harrison is he was a quiet guy. He went out there and did his business. He didn't need to be like a couple other guys on this list, always talking shit, always, you know, starting something up with his team. You know, he just did He went out there and he did his job week in and week out, and he was a great wide receiver. So I would definitely throw him in the Hall of Fame. Um, the next person I'm going to move on to is Chad Ochocinco. Right now, I have Chad Ochocinco kind of borderline, but I would actually kind of shift him into the Hall of Fame. Yes, he talks a lot. Yes, he has a big mouth. Yes, he's on a reality TV show. But let's not forget how dominant this guy was for a couple years and how dominant he really is right now. I mean, look at the week one statistics. He caught for almost 150 yards catching, I think. I mean, that's not bad. This guy is pretty much year in and year out in the top five of wide receivers. I think a lot of it has to do with how much longer he plays and how good his later on years in the NFL are. If he stays as productive as he is doing right now, then I think, yeah, I think Chad Ochocinco should be in the Hall of Fame. Moving on to somebody completely unlike Chad Ochocinco, somebody from my favorite home team, Denver Broncos, and that is Rod Smith. Unfortunately... I said Rod Smith should not make it into the Hall of Fame. I felt Rod Smith got a little bit more consideration for what he did, considering he was undrafted coming out of college. You know, he was a great feel-good story, and he really played a lot of excellent years for the Denver Broncos. His numbers were good, but I don't think they were good enough uh, to put him in the Hall of Fame. And I just don't think he was an elite wide receiver year in and year out to have him consistent enough to be in the Hall of Fame. A couple years, he was up there within the elite receivers, but I don't think he was consistently up there enough to have him thrown in the Hall of Fame. And to me, I have a little bit more, I would say, of a conservative bias on the Hall of Fame. I really feel like you should be a very elite player to get into the Hall of Fame. So a lot of these guys you probably will disagree with me with. Just post a comment and tell me why. Um, another guy who I kind of had out of the Hall of Fame for the same reason as Rod Smith was Joe Horn. He was kind of a really good feel-good story for the Saints when they weren't making the playoffs all those years. One of their really good, talented players when they didn't have very many talented players. So I will say he maybe got a little bit more consideration from Saints fans just because he was one of their good players in those years that they weren't so good. 
But I would say, yeah, he just wasn't elite enough to get him into the Hall of Fame. He was a really good feel-good story. I believe he was undrafted out of college, too, and made it into the NFL and had an extremely successful career in the NFL, but I don't think quite good enough to get him into the Hall of Fame. Um, another person that I had in the Hall of Fame, Terrell Owens. I don't think you could bring him out of the Hall of Fame. Let's think back. I know right now a lot of the reason why Terrell Owens is so popular is because of his mouth and because of his attitude. But think back when he was playing for the 49ers and just think back before he was as much of an arrogant prick as he is now. And he was probably the best wide receiver in the game for one or two years. Also that year he played for the Eagles, he was a dominant wide receiver, probably the best in the game. So I think from numbers and from the fact that he dominated the game at his position for those five years or whatever it was, I think you got to throw him in the Hall of Fame. Um, another person that I have in the Hall of Fame, and this is probably the most undoubted one on the list, Randy Moss. Randy Moss should be in the Hall of Fame. When he was on the Vikings, he dominated people. Just from his physical attributes being as tall and as big as he is, he's able to dominate corners who are usually the smallest people on the field at his position. Just look up his statistics, and I think they'll prove alone that he should be in the Hall of Fame. And I think there is no doubt he will be in the Hall of Fame. But I threw him on that list just because of that little span he had with the Raiders. I think if he would have never came back to the Patriots, then the argument would really be on the table if he should be in the Hall of Fame or not. But since the fact that he did go back to the Patriots, he had a couple successful years, that year that they went undefeated and went to the Super Bowl, and I think that alone should put him in the Hall of Fame. La -da 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 -da. That just about finishes it up. I got one more person on my list. And this guy is actually right on the borderline to me. I think if he plays his last, you know, three, maybe four years in the NFL as an elite wide receiver, which he is capable of doing, I think he will make it to the Hall of Fame. And I think if he drops off, has an injury, doesn't play quite as well as he did in his prime, I think he might miss out on the Hall of Fame. And this person I'm talking about is Steve Smith of the Carolina Panthers. I think... I, I have a gut feeling that he's going to play well in the next two, three years, maybe even four years enough to get him into the Hall of Fame, so I will say that I think he is going to make it into the Hall of Fame. If he does get injured right now, he's not going to make it into the Hall of Fame. If he has a season-ending injury or a career-ending injury, I don't think he'll make it to the Hall of Fame. And even if his numbers drop significantly than what they've been when he was in his prime or even the last couple years, because he's been a pretty efficient wide receiver, then yeah, I don't think he'll make the Hall of Fame either. Uh, hopefully they get a good quarterback from Carolina, and then it'll give him a better chance of making the Hall of Fame too. But... That is about it. I am done here. Please, I know many of you disagree with me. I don't know if you like Bob Marley. Pretty badass. But tell me why you disagree with me. Tell me if you would have had them in or out and your reasonings behind that. And I will get back to you in a matter of time. So, peace out.